Hi, I'm Mitchell, Jennifer and Alan's son. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the renovation of one of my bathrooms. It's not a full renovation, but it's still gonna be improving quite a bit of things. So let me go ahead and show you what the bathroom looks like to start off with. I did already replace these little towel holders on either side, and the old ones used to look like this. So most homes come standard with just like kind of like the chrome metal ones that are up on the wall, but I've already started with these. And then I decided to go ahead and show you the process of replacing a lot of things in the bathroom. So here's a lot of the things that we will be replacing in this video. Uh, there's the towel rack for the shower curtain. There's also three towel rods for bath towels. There's a toilet paper holder. There's going to be new faucets as well as new drain plugs. And then a brand new light fixture. The old fixture was a three bulb and we're gonna widen it up to a five bulb. So in addition to that, we're gonna need two extra light bulbs and because you never know when you're gonna need them, I have some extra drywall anchors that can each hold 75 pounds. So these are always good just to have around the house so whenever you need them for projects like this, you already have them. Because sometimes the towel racks actually don't come with really nice heavy duty ones. So I always go above and beyond with these 75 pound ones. So everything that we'll be replacing I actually did purchase on Amazon. So if you guys would like to pick up any of these things, definitely go down and check out in the description down below. There's gonna be links to all the products I used here in this video. And if there's a link that's not in there, such as some of the tools I use, that's because I picked them up locally at a hardware store. But for all the other products, definitely go down in the description and you can see all the links there. So before we get started, let me go ahead and show you what it looked like before. So when my parents do come visit, this is actually gonna be the guest bathroom that they're gonna be able to use. So once it's all nice and fixed up, it's gonna be really nice for them. So out of everything to start with, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the light fixture. So this light fixture is a three bulb and I'm upgrading to the five bulb, but one of the reasons why I'm starting with this first is so that once I get the new fixture in, it'll be better lighting for the bathroom. So once I work on the rest of the projects, it's gonna be that much easier to see and it's a lot better quality. Before you do any kind of work on electric things, especially light fixtures, you always wanna make sure that you have the circuit breaker tripped because the last thing you want is to have any kind of incident where you get electrocuted. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the switch for the bathroom. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the disassembly of the light fixture. I am gonna be using the same exact light bulbs. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off first, but let's go ahead and pull this off the wall. All right, so the new fixture is completely up and I think it looks incredible. And it went from a three bulb to now a five bulb. So this whole area is lit up so much better. So now whenever we work on the other projects like the faucets, we're gonna have a lot better lighting to work with. So the next thing I'm gonna do is replace these two faucets right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is go into the cabinet, undo them from the underside as well as the hoses, and we can go ahead and put the new ones in. All right, so these are the faucets I got, which I really love these because they just look really nice and they flow very well. I did already replace one of these in the bathroom downstairs, but I think the design is very modern and it looks so elegant. I'll try to pull it out of here. <laughs> so this right here is the faucet, which as you can see, the water comes out through the little slot right there in the front. And then it's a hot cold, so it's just one knob on the top. You do notice that this is a three hole, which this will mount in the middle 
and it also has this metal base plate that essentially will sit and cover up the other two holes allowing just the middle one so that when this sits on here it'll look nice and clean and you won't see any of the other holes but whenever you order stuff like this make sure that the hole is big enough because as you can see this one is not um, this style only comes with one size hole so I will have to make this a little bit wider and since this is like a stone type material I actually found that using a file that's a little bit rounded will actually do the trick of filing out the edge of the hole to make it just a little bit bigger enough to fit this faucet and something else I want to point out is it does come with plumber's tape it comes with a bag of little adapters for the hoses and it also comes with two brand new hoses that are labeled as hot and cold with the red and blue so these two hoses will replace the ones that we did take out so you can go from absolutely nothing to a full kit that has everything included this kit does not however include the drain so that's why i also had to pick up some drains but this faucet and everything you see here uh, there are links in the description down below and whenever i was doing the light fixture I forgot to point it out i actually picked up this bosch laser level and it's and it's really nice because when you set it down it'll actually auto level so when you set it on surfaces it'll level itself out so you get a perfect vertical and horizontal line so this is also on amazon so there will be a link in the description down below for this and it really helped especially when i was putting up that light fixture getting it level in the very end All right, so I did get both of the faucets in and they both work very well. And I really love how that stream of water is so nice and wide because the opening of that is nice and wide. So this pack right here actually came as a two pack. So with this, you actually save quite a bit of money. There will be links in the description down below of the single version as well as this two pack here. And as you can see, it's the same way where you can click it, it stays down, you click it again, it pops up. But this one also has a function where when you pull it out, it's like a little trap. So if you get any other hair or debris or anything in there, it just easily comes in and out and then you just set it right back into place and you're good to go. And then you just click it again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with installing both of these and I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is the toilet paper holder. So this is the one where it has like that little rod in the middle where with tension you kind of push it together and then it pops out. So the new one I'm gonna be putting on actually has one single arm. It's gonna to connect to the wall on one side and then you can just easily slide the toilet paper roll on and off. This is especially helpful for guests because they can just slide it on, it's super quick and easy. All right, so now here we are a few minutes later, we got that put on and it does hold together two screws and it actually fits nice and secure so it does not wobble or anything. And then it's as easy as sliding on the roll and it's just that easy. And with the two holes right here, what I'm gonna to have to do is fill those and paint them. But a little trick that I learned is you can take the back of your screwdriver, since it's nice and rounded, and push over the ends and push in and kind of turn it so that you get like a nice little concave shape because whenever we go to fill that, it'll be a lot easier to fill and you're not gonna have like any lumps or anything. So what I'll do is I'll fill these and then once it dries here, like in a couple of days, I'll go back over with the exact same paint and I'm gonna paint right over that. And if all goes as planned, you won't even know that those two holes were there. All right, so I just filled those holes with the lightweight spackle. So it's actually uh, from DAP and it's fast and final. Um, quick and easy to put on. And once I actually put it on, I filled the holes and then I went and kind of added a little bit of texture to it. So once I paint over it, it'll be completely hidden. All right, so what we'll work on next is these towel rods. So there's actually two right here, and then behind this door, there's another one that's right next to the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all three of these, 
And these ones are going to be replaced by these nice solid black metal ones. So the original ones have a separate piece that mounts to the wall. And these ones, like the bar, is a solid piece that goes all the way and connects to the wall. So these are going to be a direct replacement. They're going to be really nice. And I think they're going to look so good, especially with all the other black details and trims. And how everything's nice and squared off. These are also in the same exact fashion. So earlier I did mention how I use these drywall anchors that can hold 75 pounds each. So each one of these is very aggressive looking and it hooks into the drywall very well. The reason I want to use these is because the ones that came with the towel rods are actually just very simple and they don't really hold in that well. And a lot of times these only last just a couple years. Whereas using these, these will probably last year after year and you'll never have to worry about them coming loose. And so I've completed everything in the main bathroom from the light to the towel rods on the back wall as well as the sink faucets, toilet paper holder, and the final towel rack in the back here. Now it's time to get started on the shower curtain rod. So the old shower curtain rod is a tension rod, but the new one's actually going to screw into the drywall just on the outside of the tile. So let's go ahead and get rid of this tension rod and the old curtain, put up the new rod and a brand new curtain. All right, so now that all the hardware is put into place and everything's up, like the shower curtain rod as well as the towel racks, faucets, all that kind of stuff, now it's time to do the fun part and start decorating. And if you guys see some like little dark spots on the wall, I did go ahead and take care of the paint touch up and a couple little spots, especially over by the toilet paper holder. So now it's time to start decorating. So I did find this polka dot shower curtain, which I think it looks beautiful. And you can kind of see the pattern right there with the grays and blacks. It does kind of match the bathroom with the gray walls and all the little black accents that I have on here now. So we're just going to go ahead and hang that curtain up in here. So what do you think of the new shower curtain? It really does match, especially with the rest of the bathroom being black and gray, but also some white trim. We got a little bit of white on here as well. And with the shower curtain rod being so curved, when you're in the bathroom, it actually gives you a lot more room because you can see how much further that's coming out from where the old one used to come straight across. So I did choose a yak in a bathtub as a picture to put up on the wall for the guest bathroom. So when I first saw this, it just made me laugh and I just thought it was like really cute. I mean, it's just a yak sitting in a bathtub and what better place to then put it in a bathroom. So I thought the guest bathroom would be the perfect place as all my guests or company, such as like my parents and other friends and family, when they come to stay, they'll see the yak in the bathtub and hopefully it'll make them smile. So to finish the bathroom, I did put gray towels in as well as matching hand towels. And while we're here, I also put a couple little hand soaps in here, as well as some decorative plants. 
So these are fake plants I did pick up at Walmart, which look really nice. And they did come with this little wooden stand. Also, I decided to put some Q-tips in this really cute flower pot, which I really like the colors. It just makes the bathroom just kind of pop. But also I added this nice gray and white rug, as well as this little bath mat right in here. It's super soft and it looks really good, especially with the polka dot shower curtain. Well, I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, definitely go down, hit that like button down below, and also hit that subscribe button. And just remember, if you wanna pick up any of these products you've seen in this video, definitely go down in the description down below and there will be links to Amazon for almost everything that's featured. Some things were from Walmart, such as the shower curtain and the fake plants, but pretty much everything else is from Amazon and the links will be in the description down below. So definitely go check those out. But thank you for watching.